Guys, so what I want to talk today, today is about injuries. Now, injuries is one of the number one things why people go off track and then probably stay off track for a very long time. Why? Because they can't train to their best of their ability. Now, there's a lot of things that we can do with avoiding injuries. So when we're training, when we're exercising, we can make sure that we feel flexible in exercises and we can make sure that we're not going too intense and we're making sure that our joints are very stable in what we're doing. So we're paying attention to what we're doing every second, every single rep or every single activity you're doing, you're paying attention to it. Okay, that is a one way, but it's inevitably sometimes you're gonna get injured. Now, what we have to do is we have to look at it, this from a positive mindset, okay? We can get all grumpy and we can get all like, oh, it's in my head and don't get me wrong, I've done that many times, but I've learned from my mistakes and I've learned that you can work around injuries and then you need to do what you need to do to prevent them from ever happening again. So, let's say that you hurt your, you hurt your knee, okay? Now, I've, had a, um, I've hurt my knee before because originally I damaged my ligaments, which caused my calf to tighten up and I ignored it, carried on squatting, and then I started to get really, really horrendous knee pain. Okay, now what I have to do is I make, need to make sure on a regular basis that I do stretch my calf out, and if I feel it getting tighter, I can feel the muscles around my joint, and I can basically make sure that I foam more regular and I stretch regular. Okay, and I'm very cautious of that when I'm training. That's what you can do things, that's what you can do to prevent it. But while you are actually injured, the mindset with training, it's very, very simple, okay? You have got probably 45 minutes, three times a week to exercise. Now, in them 45 minutes, I would possibly say avoid movement of the injury so that you can get the most out of that 45 minutes. So if you've injured your lower body, just for a couple of weeks, just do upper body. So when you're in there, you can perform well, you can get that good feeling, get them endorphins going, and you can actually feel like you've had a good workout and you'll leave with a lot more positive atmosphere, uh, uh, attitude. But what you cannot do is not move that injury and not basically keep that injury and hopefully it'll get better because it won't. If you don't move something, you don't keep something mobile, it is one way to basically knacker up your injury. All I'm saying is avoid doing it in the sessions. Now, my advice would be go all out in the sessions, avoiding it completely so you get that good workout because there's no point going half-assed, going really light on your, on your squats if you've injured your lower body on 10% of the weight you can actually do and 10% of the movement you can actually do. Um, you're just trying to keep it moving because you're wasting them valuable 45 minutes that you've probably busted your ass to try and get there. So what you need to do is you need to use them 45 minutes in the training session to actually train hard, avoiding avoiding any sort of lower body or whatever your injury is. And then you need to basically set aside 15 minutes most days at home to do if you've got an injury and you want to keep it moving, do your flexibility work, do your movement work, do some light squats so you actually keep it moving, do some light lunges, keep doing the stuff that you probably would have done half-assed in the sessions, in any training session that you do, then do it at home so you can actually keep it moving. And that is one way to you still get in a good positive session in during the week. You're actually doing something about your injury and then once your injury starts to get better, then you can basically, you can go back into your training sessions or your gym, your, your gym environment and you can start to train again hard on the on where your injury was. But guess what you don't stop doing? You don't stop doing that little weekly routine, that prevention, so you don't ever get injured again. Now, if we do stop doing that, then there's a chance that it could come back again. So we need to make sure that we're going across the board. Now, I don't mean spending hours and hours at home doing it. I just mean 10 minutes, 10 minutes of your day. Get into a little routine before you get up in the morning. These are things that we have to do. These are things that I do on a regular basis for past football injuries that I've had. So you have to, you have to do them if you want longevity in your training.